My name is Josh Jenkins. This is my week six submission for FTT 100. Today is June 28, 2023. So before we get started, what we're gonna do is we're going to clear this weapon to make sure that it's not, there's no ammo in it at all. As you can see, there's no ammo on my desk, live or otherwise. So the first thing we wanna do point in a safe direction. We're going to drop the magazine, show that there is no ammo in there. We're going to lock the slide back, show visually that there's no ammo in there, and do a physical inspection as well. We're going to drop the slide back, point in a safe direction again, and we're going to pull the trigger. This weapon is now clear and we can proceed on to the next step. So what this weapon is, this is a Glock 43X. It is a subcompact. It's my everyday carry. Uh, it has a 10 round capacity, uh, semi-automatic. Um, so one of the, op the, one of the questions in this, for this presentation was to uh, ask about the operating system and the make of the model, which I just described the make of the model. But the operating system uh, for this particular one is called the Safe Action System. That right there is pretty cool because what it is is a trigger safety that engages a firing pin safety, which then engages a drop safety. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate that uh, through, from Glock's website. Uh, I'm going to show you that right now. The first safety feature that we're going to go over is the trigger safety. To fire this Glock 43X, what you need to do is pull both the trigger safety and the trigger itself in a deliberate way. This is so that if it's ever accidentally dropped or pressure is applied otherwise not a pull, then it won't go off. The second safety is the firing pin safety. This is a mechanical block for the, for the firing pin to move it to, into a ready fire condition. As you pull the trigger, uh, rearward, the trigger bar pushes the firing pin and the safety up and frees up the firing pin channel. The final safety involves the trigger bar, which rests on the safety ramp within the trigger mechanism housing. When the round is fired, it engages and then re-engages the firing pin as the trigger is released. Seeing all that, you can really see how Glock has manufactured their weapons to be as safe as possible. So the next step what we'd like to do here is we would like to field strip this and show you the major components uh, while field stripping. So the first thing, again, we want to do, this gun, this weapon has been cleared, we want to take the slide off. And to do that, we're going to need to put tension on it and hit the drop down pins. Glock has a specific way to do that. Canix uh, have a, a different way where you engage it and drop and take their take down pin and turn it 90 degrees. So what we're gonna do is you can do it one of two ways. You can pull back a little tension on it like this and get the drop down pin to come off. Or you can flip it upside down and do the same thing. So the first major component here is obviously the frame. And in the frame we have our sear, we have our trigger assembly, and we have our takedown pins, which are right here. We have our magazine release, which, oops, we have our magazine release, which is right here, but maybe you can see the action in there. And again, like I said, we have our tabs for, our slide tabs for locking the, uh, the locking the slide back on, and our takedowns right here for locking it in place as well. So we're gonna set the frame down. And there's going to be three major components we pull off of here. The first one is going to be our guide, guide spring and guide rod assemblies. I'm just gonna pull that down. We're gonna set that right there. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to take the barrel off, which is right here. So we're just gonna drop that down a little bit. Gonna set that down right there. And this is, and what's left is our slide. And in, contained in the slide is the firing pin right here, where the firing pin spring and then a couple other uh, small components that live there as well. So you have your uh, magazine, you have your uh, follower up here, witness holes in the back, you have your spring down there. I don't know if we can probably see the spring through there, but you can see the spring going up and down. So that's another major component as well. Uh, to put the weapon back together after it's been field stripped, we simply just reverse the order of operations, which are. 